Today we are going to be learning a method for division. We are going to do learn long division. This is the traditional method. So this is probably what they're teaching you in school. Uh, it's fairly simple. Um, it can get complicated, but it doesn't have to be. I'm gonna walk through the steps with you guys while explaining it. So the first example that we are going to do is 96 divided by three. So you're going to write this in standard notation for division, which would be like this. And I'm gonna also talk to you with long division is uh, an, not really an acronym, I guess it's called an acronym, but it is DMSCB. And this is what we used to uh, go, when I was younger we used to do, to talk about this while we talked about long division, so you remembered each step. So D is for dividing, M is for multiplication, multiplication, S is for subtraction, C is to check, and B is to bring down. So I'm gonna talk about this, and usually we said, does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? You might have heard that, you might have not, but that's just what it means. So I'm gonna be talking about that while I go through this problem with you guys. So during long division, Basically, you want to ask yourself, how many times can three go into this number? And you're going to be trying to do it as a whole if you can, or um, or you're going to be doing it by digit by digit. So the reason why I said a whole if you can, if it was like three or 120 divided by three, you're able to say that three can go into four four times and then with that zero there, just tack on a zero. So you would be able to say that three goes into 120, 40 times. So, but if you don't know that what that is, or you didn't get that right away, you can always just go in by digit by digit and be asking yourself, how many times does three go into this number? Or how many times does this number go into this number? So how many times does three go into nine? That would be three. So right there, you just did your division part. Um, and now you're gonna do your multiplication. So three times three equals nine. And then you're gonna have a zero here. If you need to, you don't have to, but if you wanna see that so you can understand that, then there you go. So then you're going to subtract. So six minus zero is 6 and 9 minus 9 equals 0. Now I kind of did two steps combined because yes I checked it because it makes sense that 3 times 3 equals 9 so 3 has to go into 3 nine, or 3 has to go into 9 three times. At the same time while I subtracted I also brought down my 6. So now you're just gonna repeat that all together. So how many times does three go into six? Which is two times. Three times two equals six. And subtract. Now if there is another number here, that's when you would bring down as well. But that's kind of what I did up here. So your answer is on top of your division sign. So it's 32. So three goes into 96, 32 times. So we are going to go on to example two. I'm just gonna go right there. The second example that we are going to do is 84 divided by four. So we're gonna ask ourselves, how many times can four go into eight? two times. Four times two equals eight. 
subtract, check, 8 minus 8. You want to make sure they go get canceled out. Well, not canceled out, but get to 0 as close as they can, or, but they need to get to 0. So that's when I check, and now we're going to bring down, which is 4. Now, how many times is this 4 going to 4? 1 time. 4 times 1 is 4. Subtract. 0. So, um, your answer is 21. So, 4 goes into 84 21 times. Now, the third example is a little bit more complicated. Just a little. Um, I'll talk about that when we get there. But it is 94 divided by 8. So we're going to be asking ourselves, how many times can 8 go into 9? Once. So 8 times 1 equals 8. Subtract 1. And then you're going to bring down. So in this case, um, I got to 1, and but over here I got to 0. It's okay if you get to that. It just means that maybe it doesn't go in there nicely, or maybe you didn't do, or maybe you only said um, a less amount of times that it could actually go in. But in this case, it's just that 8 doesn't go into 94 evenly. So now you're going to ask yourselves, how many times does 8 go into 14? Well, it only goes in there one time. So 8 times 1 is 8. Subtract. And you get 6. So since 6 is less than 8, that means your 6 right here is your remainder. Uh, so you're just going to plug not really plug, but place this on top with your 11 and just put a capital R and the number that was left over. So 94 divided by eight is 11 with a remainder of six. That just means it doesn't go in there pretty. The long division method, um, just remember to stay organized. Uh, go buy Des McDonald's, sell cheeseburgers. Make sure you divide, multiply, subtract check to make sure it all makes sense and then bring down your next digit if you have a remainder don't freak out sometimes it just happens um, and that is long division